Hello, my beautiful Virgos, Team Virgo. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to do your love reading for the next 24 hours. All right, so if you'd like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Um, welcome to my Virgo channel. Um, please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy my channel. And... Um, yeah, just remember this is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate, but I upload every day. So you can always check back. Maybe something will resonate for you. All right, let's take a look at your love life, past position. Okay, hmm, present. Okay, and the future. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's get some love messages for the past. Okay, we have Capricorn, Pisces, All right? So if that resonates for you, great. If not, don't sweat it, okay? Let's see, one of the love messages. Getting to know each other for the past and releasing your ex, okay? Let's get a couple for the present. In the future and we'll get to those in just a moment all right virgo what's going on virgo okay hmm. well in a nutshell i feel like somebody in your past kind of well you know i just have to say the center of this reading is the two of swords so there's a compromise uh, decision being made here okay but the past energy is kind of like a temp temporary separation between you and someone um your person i feel like was in the past trying to get real about some type of toxic energy that was floating around them they may have felt like your connection had a toxic thing going on with it in 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 it okay and i feel like you know when there's an element of toxicity and and two people you know the devil is it's a very sexual card so if you and your person had that going on okay like at the forefront of the relationship it was mostly sexual i feel uh, I, i'm sensing maybe in the past your person had to take like there was some, some kind of an obsession with you and i feel like they had to take breaks from that crazy crazy because it, it was getting them very overwhelmed right um your person kind of has like this page of swords energy where you know they're very curious prying eyes Let's take a look at this Eight of Cups. What What is the reason for the Eight of Cups here? Because the Eight of Cups is kind of like withdrawal, retreat, or maybe they abandoned the connection because it was too like intense for them with you. Um, getting to know each other and then releasing. Well, I think you guys are really getting to know each other on a very physical level. Okay, Seven of Swords. <laughs> Yeah, this person, they didn't just withdraw, they ran away. Your person in the past ran away. Okay. They may have felt there was too much deception or they, they felt that there was, um, they were watching you too much or they were confused. Getting to know you, <laughs> trying to reveal themselves to you, but the pull and the intensity of this devil energy... It was almost as if they were obsessed or had like an addictive thing towards you. Wow. Tower. Yep. That's a very phallus symbol. Okay. They may have had some type of addictions to porn or something. And, you know, that maybe that was like, or they found out that you did or, or you both did or there was or addictions to sex or something. Um I'm just feeling that like, strong sexual energy. There's deception. There's a lot of pulling away, abandonment. Um, the tower is like 
boom, unexpected revelation of some sort that came to this person, maybe about themselves. There was an upheaval. And I definitely feel like in the past, I mean, it could have just been yesterday. There might have been communication from your person about this. They want to get to know you, but uh, they wanted to get to know you, but there was some kind of thing. They, they may also have been trying to get away from um, a toxic relationship that they were in with somebody else, Virgo. Okay, trying to cut that out while trying to get to know you in the past. Or just try to cut out their own personal addictions or things like that. You know, this person, maybe they had um, uh, addiction in any way, in any source, any sense. You know, people, place, or a thing. Obsessiveness. Okay, the Ten of Cups here. Your person might have been married or trying to cut out a family situation um, where they had family. There was, might have been a family intervention for some of you related to your person. You know, like it's kind of just feels very much like I feel like your person really wanted to have that Ten of Cups energy, that family love and support kind of thing. But they weren't capable of doing it because of that devil. But also coming to some kind of like, you know, the devil hits the crown chakra. That's like enlightenment. And it comes out of the blue. And it's like, what? Wait, what? Do I have this toxicity in me? Do I need to heal some things? Do I need to get clear? Um, th there's something here with this person that there's tr either a truth was told to them or they received some kind of truth about their attachment. Four of Swords. Yeah, that's a card of recovery, healing. Interesting. Your person really going through a lot. And I feel like they definitely wanted to keep moving forward with you but there was something standing in the way of this person's ability to move forward with you okay could have been drugs alcohol sex uh, addictions uh, material obsessions um, greed envy sexual lust all of that okay could have been you know with somebody else that they were connected to or you know, it feels to me like releasing their ex. I don't feel like you're an ex. I feel like this is somebody else they were connected to. All right, let's take a look and see what the present energy is. All right, deception. Staying optimistic about your love life. Someone is, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Your person, your person just kind of like... People who are people who deceive or are false masks are usually um, hiding something. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad. It could just be insecurities. And I feel like your person was definitely maybe trying to put on more than they really were. They, they didn't want you to see things. They don't want you to see things. But they're you know very positive about your romance or your romantic relationship. Now I have the Ace of Pentacles here, the Two of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. I feel like your person currently is like making this decision to stop blocking and withholding and come forward to make some type of an investment opportunity with you. Ten of Pentacles. Also, they may be buying a new home, working in real estate, investing in, you know, their portfolio and financials. Okay. Um, there's a lot of Pentacle energy and I feel like your person at this time is really optimistic and, and feeling positive and, and faithful and hopeful that you guys could continue forward but it seems to me like they're trying to get themselves grounded right now look at all these pentacles king of pentacles here but they're make this is their decision right now you know they can't give you what they want to be able to give you because they're trying to ground themselves Pentacle energy is very earthy, you know, you, you get grounded, you get your feet down in the dirt, you get stable. So in their mind, you know, whether it's a financial stability that they're trying to get or accomplish, um, saving their money, um, not spending. What's this deception about? 
Okay, didn't I say some people have wear false masks because of insecurity or feeling like a self-imposed prisoner, you know, like they can't, they struggle to get out of this, um, this eight of swords energy with these like negative thoughts and negative thought patterns, restrictions, isolation, imprisonment. Okay, so they kind of hide that. They're, they hide that, not any kind of deception or anything like that. This person just struggles. They don't feel worthy of love. Um, they try to gain their sense of self-worth through their career or their work or their material things. Um, but in terms of like getting stable, I feel like the reason why, uh, they're, they're, they're kind of like a work in progress right now, Virgo, your person, buying a new home, um, starting a business, just definitely a work in progress. King of Pentacles energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you know, that's all about the earth. That's all about working, teamwork, long-term security. You know, that, that it's just like stability, luxury, self-sufficiency, that kind of thing. Inheritance, leaving a legacy, investing in businesses and things like that. But in terms of love, it's more like finding a way to stabilize themselves in to be able to offer you long-term security and, and a sense of feeling safe with them. Because I feel like in the past, you may not have felt very safe with them. And I feel like your person in the past realized that, that they were not really someone that you could count on and you wanted to count on them, but they weren't able to do it. They had to really get some healing going on back here before they're able to come to you, Virgo. So currently, I'm not seeing communication as of yet. I feel like they're not giving up on you. Okay. I feel like, yeah, just when I said that, the nine of cups, that's wish fulfillment. The material abundance and good health. I feel like this person is trying to like, you know how we always say, well, just focus on you. You do you. Well, your person is, they're doing them right now. And it, it's very good because for them to come back into your life, um, I feel like you'd rather have this energy than that past energy. You know, I feel like you're supportive always, right? And you've tried to be supportive of them, but they have to do that footwork. They have to get themselves to be able to, you can't do it for them, obviously. And sometimes people need to take a time out to be able to do that and get that healing and figure out, you know, I mean, can it be done while you're both together? Yes, but it feels like, you know, even if you are still together, you're still communicating, your person's still on this journey here, okay? So the future energy is calling in your soulmate and making the effort, beautiful. Okay, so we have the moon. And you know, this person doesn't let out a lot of their emotions. They reveal very little about how they feel or will be um, in the future, okay? But this card is about voluntary changes. And I feel like it's more so about them going forward and revealing more to you about the depth of their emotion. This person has that wild streak. They had a wild streak in the past, probably always did. And they're always a battle, you know, between domesticating themselves and becoming a regular civil human being or just, you know, chasing waterfalls, you know, it was always like a temptation for them to chase after these wild fantasies because the moon, that's what that's about, the wolf and the domesticated dog, you know, and finding that balance, walking through both of them and finding that balance between the two, you know, that's like the wild heart. And then that's the person who has to get up and do the nine to five grind you know, um, but I see communication coming in here for you. This person, oh, they're going to be messaging you in the future, wanting to make the effort. This is like bringing you good news and major changes happening. This is the um, Cupid's arrows as well. So let's take a look. The moon card. I feel like this person actually gets a handle on their emotions, you know, and stabilizes. You know, if you try to imagine like a juggler, look at him. I mean, he's on, he's on a rock on top of a rock on one foot, balancing himself on one leg 
with all this chaos going on behind him and trying to keep these two balls up in the air. Imagine trying to do that. You have to be pretty skilled. That's not something you could just do without ever having any practice. And I feel like your person's really been getting some practice. <laughs> so this is an energy of like how to balance these two things, you know, and how to maintain. That's what the Two of Pentacles is. Multitasking. Your person, look, they were either wild or wild in the past, just whatever, chasing those waterfalls. And then in the present, they get stable. Now they have to find a way, like I said, to bring balance, to, to find that sweet spot between having that wild side and appeasing that and also having that nine to five. So it's like people, you know, it's like you, you know, some of you work that grind nine to five. And then on the weekends you get wild, right? This person, they were kind of black and white. They were kind of like, oh, I'm going to do all this. They struggled with trying to have both, but it feels like somewhere along the line, they get themselves in a balanced position. Let's take a look at the moon. Oh, the four of wands, beautiful. Okay. There's definitely a homecoming or a reunion happening here. They're, they're coming home. Your person's coming home much better <laughs> than they were before. Um, supportive family, some type of celebration. They want to have some kind of reunion or celebration with you. There could be travel. This person, the Eight of Wands, can represent that energy. You know, um, quick and fast coming in in the future. Definitely some a lot of phone calls coming and effort being made. I feel like your person sees that you are the great love of their life and you are worth taking these steps for. Yeah, there's that Piscean energy again. Look, that's like seeing things from a different perspective. Having like a new lease on life, I just heard. Um, yeah, wisdom. This person's like, coming to their senses, it feels like. Hmm. Let's see what the Two of Pentacles is here. All right, justice, balance, again, being fair, making things right with you, having a win-win solution between the two of you. Could be, even be, for some of you, like a legal marriage you know justice of the peace kind of thing uh, they see the cause and effect of their contribution to the relationship things that they did and the effects of that things you did the effects of that balance is always harmony and coming into harmony with each other this is an 11 card here I feel like your person is really going to start speaking the truth. But it's also like um, they're going to be fair. They're going to be fair with you. I'm feeling a little karma. <laughs> and with that infinity symbol, that what comes around goes around. I feel like there's something happening here for them. It might even just be as simple if we coin it as... Some growth, some growth happening here with this person. Major growth though, it's not very simple. It's kind of like, you know, sometimes you just have to give people that space to come to terms with things in their lives and not, not really condemn them because we're all on a different growth path. You know, we're all at different levels of our growth and our changes. And sometimes light bulbs just start snapping away left and right each day and it's like oh wait yeah oh wait yeah maybe it's this oh wait and putting those puzzle pieces together and i feel like that's what's happening here with your person let's get a couple of love messages to see what they could tell you what their what their love messages are for you virgo i do wish you well well this person has good intentions for you virgo I feel that. I hid who I really am from you. See, Virgo? 
How could they tell you that they felt like half a person? How could they tell you that? They didn't want to tell you that. They, didn't, they were afraid. Maybe you thought you would think they were playing the victim card or they didn't want to be seen that way. But they felt like half a person. And they felt incompetent. A lot of mental anxieties. Why did they feel that way? I don't know. You know, it's a general reading. Maybe they had some past trauma or maybe just the ex that they dealt with or something or um, just could be just their basic way that they are in when it comes to romance maybe not in other areas of their life but you know could have been let's see I am different now mm. see I told you there's some growth happening here with your person and maybe you don't maybe you're just going to be happy for them and, and wish them well also and not try to have reconciliation with them maybe you know, what you decide to do is up to you. If you're waiting for this person to reach that ascension and meet you halfway, I feel like that's definitely occurring here, at least in this reading. And what you do with that's up to you. Okay. I wish I had treated you better. A new love or recommitment to love is developing here. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. Look, that's here twice. Yeah, you guys got to go slow. So, you know, I feel like your person is like, is just got this new, I just heard the emperor's new clothes. What does that mean? I don't remember that story, but I just heard that. I don't know if it relates, <laughs> but I did say the emperor. So hmm. he shows up in one way or another, doesn't he here in these readings? So go slow if you're gonna you know if you guys are gonna reconcile or try to make something work take it slow because I feel like your person is coming in differently and this might not be somebody you recognize and you may need to get to know them all over again because whatever was going on in the past I feel that energy is just rotted away with them I mean will there be residual of course nobody's perfect but I definitely feel like they're trying to make changes in their life. I wish I could share my good news with you. Well, they will in the future. They have this good news that it's kind of like, wow, I'm having a wake-up call. I've had a wake-up call. That That's the good news. I see things differently now. Look at how his, light, his head is illuminated with light. It's almost like the light bulb over the head. Like, ding, I finally see the light. <sighs> It's like an epiphany. It's like being stuck or being a particular way for so long, but like seeing this situation from the completely new set of eyes. And they do hope that you would be happy for them no matter what you decide to do. You may have had something to do with their growth, but there's leap of leap of faith here. It's safe to make the move you're considering. And I feel like your person is going to take this leap of faith with you going forward. And forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. That's really what it's going to take to have these changes and to move forward together. There, there has to be an element of forgiveness. You know, it's some, in some way. All right, Virgo, let's get some advice here for you. All right, finish out your reading. And Spirit wants this one. Ah, oh, Six of Cups. Beautiful. Children or childhood. Revisiting old dreams or plans. Embracing your inner child. The return of people or romance from your past. Romanticizing how things used to be. But this is also um, a return, a reconciliation. Could be an apology. Um kindness sincerity towards one another right and i feel like since this is your advice um this person's going to reach out again and i just really feel like the advice is to be compassionate and be kind to them um if you want to reconcile with them that's really 
the advice here. You know, but if you don't, that's the advice also. If you're angry, go punch a heavy bag or, you know, your pillow or <laughs> go lift some heavy weights, you know, redirect your anger, but also speak your truth too. Don't, don't suppress how you feel. If you have things that you got to sort out, maybe talk to some good friends and find that circle of support for yourself. All right, Virgo. So going to leave your reading there. I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned for tomorrow. There will be another reading. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on my channel if you enjoy this video. And again, link in the description box below to get a personal reading with me. Okay, Virgo, see you very soon. Well, tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.